All right, you guys asked for it. So in this video, I will be showing you guys how to create those amazing Spanish guitar samples all from scratch in FL Studio. So we are seriously not gonna waste any time. Let's just jump straight in. All right, so we are now here in FL Studio 21. And the first thing we're gonna do is just go over to the BPM and we are actually going to lower it to 120 for this one. Then since we are making a guitar sample, we obviously wanna open up a guitar VST. For this one, I'm gonna be using the Pick Nylon guitar over here in contact. And what you wanna do with this one to really get that Spanish sounding guitar is to go over to this preset button right here, pick Latin. Once you are in the Latin section, you actually want to pick this Rio preset. Now, one very important thing when we are using this preset right here is that we actually want to go down over here on the bottom to the guitar settings, and then we want to switch the microphone from close to main. This is just going to help us get a better sound on the guitar. Once we have done this, we can just open up the piano roll. And now before we start laying down the pattern, we need to go over to view. Then we are going to go down to scale highlighting so we can pick a scale for this one. Now, one very, very important thing when you are going for these Spanish sound examples is that we actually don't want to be in the minor natural scale, but we are actually going to switch it to the minor harmonic scale. So in this case, we're going to be working in E minor harmonic. Now that we have all the fundamentals down, let's go in with the pattern. So the first thing we're going to start off with is just the E minor chord. Now let's extend this out a little bit and also invert this middle note up one octave. Then I'm just gonna slice the top note and pitch this one down one semitone. The super cool thing with the harmonic scale is that it actually has one more of these half steps in the scale. This means that we are going to focus a lot on these half steps. Even though we aren't necessarily making a super dark beat, we kind of want to focus on creating some sort of tension and then releasing it later on. That is really going to enhance that Latin type of vibe. So now that we have this first chord over here, I'm gonna start laying down the second chord under this B right here. Now that we have our first chord laid down, we want to start filling out for our second chord. And this one is going to be on the note that is underneath the B. So let's make a chord on this A as well. Again, this time we are also going to invert the middle note up one octave. Now again, let's focus on these half steps. So let's put one right beside this one. And we can also extend these all the way. Yeah, so you can already hear it has that super spanish -y type of sound to it. Now we want to start building off of this chord again. So this time I'm actually just going to copy the whole thing over. But we are going to do some slight switch ups. So these two, I'm just going to lower them down to these half steps underneath. And then instead of having this E playing twice, I'm actually going to pitch this up to this F sharp. Then for this section, I'm just going to keep these two notes the same. But this one, we obviously have to pitch in key. So let's just pitch it down one semitone. Again, you can see that we are kind of working in these half steps over here. Now let's just finish this off with a small little filler note over here to kind of give it some more movement and then we can literally just copy this whole thing over and do a few tweaks on the end so just to round off the sample i'm going to pitch this one down and add a small little note over here as well now lastly very very important make sure to strum these notes as you guys can see we have a lot of notes on top of each other so to really make this more realistic you want to hit alt and s on your keyboard this is just going to strum everything and then we are also going to do alt and r to randomize the velocity now just copy the whole thing over and this is going to be our spanish pattern It really, really has that Spanish vibe to it. Now let's very quickly just add some effects to that guitar to really enhance the sound. The first thing I'm going to do is just add an imager to really widen out the sound a little bit. Then I'm going to add this room at about 16% just to give it some more reverb. Then we are going to use some RC20 to get more of that texture sound using the 103 preset over here, but I did turn off the noise. And lastly, we are just going to add this EQ to really cut out the low end and the boxy mids. Now that we have that Spanish guitar pattern, I'm quickly just going to add a vocal from Spice that sounds like this. <laughs> Now the vocal might sound a little bit harsh to start off with, but I feel like once we add some effects to it, it can really go hand in hand with the guitar. So for the effects, I'm just gonna start off by pitching it up one octave using this sound shifter. Then we also wanna give it some more reverb. So I've just added this roam at about 17%. And lastly, I really want the vocal to be a bit more in the background. So I have just cut out a lot of the high end and a little bit of the mids as well. Yeah, so the vocal goes perfectly with the guitar right now. Right now we have two pretty important sections of the sample, but probably one of the most important things when it comes to these type of samples is to really create a good and catchy counter melody. And since we are obviously making this Spanish type of sample, you guys might know that we can never go wrong with a trumpet. So for this one, I am just gonna open up this trumpet from Spaghetti Western. Now I will go over to the articulations over here and I will pick this fast legato one. It's just gonna make the trumpet sound a bit nicer, but you can pretty much use whatever trumpet you have. As for the pattern, we are again just gonna focus on these half steps that are right next to each other. 
other. Like I said, since we are working in the harmonic minor scale, it's going to give us one extra of these. And if you just use a lot of these in succession, it's really going to make the trumpet flow a little bit better with the guitar. Mm. Yeah, so the trumpet really adds to the Spanish vibe. As for the effects on the trumpet, I'm actually just going to copy most of the same effects from the guitar over to this one. Then I'm actually going to try to put a sound shifter on the first insert of the trumpet. Just pitch it up by 12 semitones and see if it sounds a bit better. Mm. Yeah, that's definitely the vibe we're going for. The last thing I want to do for this sample is just add a little bit of a percussion loop we can have in the background. Now let's just pitch down the whole sample by two semitones and see how it sounds. <laughs> this is fire, bro. Now that we have the sample finished, let's quickly add some drums. As for the drum sounds I'm using, they are of course coming from my Euphoria bundle kit. So if you guys still haven't checked out the kit, you can obviously go on my website, it's bbmarco.com, or you guys can just click the first link down below. So let's just start off with that simple clap pattern. This gets a nice bass going. This hi-hat goes perfectly with the sample. So let's start adding in some perks and rims. Mm, that's fire right there. When it comes to these perks, you really want to mess a little bit around with the velocity on some of them. It is just going to enhance the bounce and it's also going to give the whole beat a little bit more of a realistic feel to it. That's perfect. We got such a cool bounce going for this one. Now let's quickly add the kick in the 808 and that should pretty much be it for the beat. So a little bit of a busier 808 pattern. Now that we have the whole beat, I'm quickly just going to arrange the whole thing and then I'll show you guys the final beat at the end. Alright, so let's take a listen to the final beat. Here we have the percussion as well as the guitar in the intro. Shut up, Marco! 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 Then it drops into the first part of the hook. Vocal comes in. Crazy 808. Trumpet for the second part. Mm. Different 808 as well. Slows down for the verse. Yeah. Chill vibe right here. Trumpet is back in. No vocals on this one. Pretty much the same as the intro for the bridge. Just with the vocals. And it drops right back in. 